I know why you're here. <laughs> you're here because you want to know what are the salaries of software engineers or product managers or DevOps engineers, and you are in the right place. Today, in this video, I will share with you what are the salaries of tech workers and how did those salaries change in comparison with the previous year. Last year, I did a similar video where I shared with you what are the salaries of software engineers in United States, what are the salaries of software engineers in Canada, and I think I also pointed out a few salaries in Europe. So this year's year in this video, I'll do exactly the same. I'll point out what are the salaries for software engineers, programmers in United States, in Canada and in UK. So what can you expect from this video today is that we'll start the video with the pointing out the key differences in the salaries in comparison with the previous year followed by looking at the salaries in the key major areas for tech companies and how did those salaries change, followed by the salaries by industry, what industries are paying the most for software engineers, and we will look at that, those industry for US as well as United Kingdom. So if you're interested, keep watching. Then after that, we will look at how did the salaries change based on the tech role. So we will look at how the salaries change for software engineers, how the salaries change for product owners, for dev op uh, engineers, designers, as well as data scientists. How do they change? How the salaries for tech role professionals change in the United States, as well as United Kingdom. And we will conclude that with looking at the adjusted salary by city in comparison with the salary from San Francisco. So if this is something that you're curious in finding out, keep on watching. Let's get started. So I have my notes here and I want to make sure that I'll give you the accurate data. I want to make sure that you know that this video is inspired by the report that Hired is, is posting every year. So what they are doing, they are analyzing every year hundreds of thousands of job applic applicants, the interview and salaries of software engineers, in the United States, as well as in, King, uh, in the United Kingdom, in Canada. They also analyze the salaries of product owners, DevOps engineers, designers, and data scientists. So that's what we'll, you can expect the numbers to see in this video. It's a reflection of the that analysis of that report. So the, re the reason why they are doing this report and for me also making a video because I believe that information is really valuable and we as tech workers, as, as software engineers, programmers, coders, product owners, DevOps, whatever tech role you might have, it's important to know what salary can you expect this year or kind of estimate what will be the trend for the next year. And yeah, we are living in uncertain times. It's not usual times. So I'm curious how the trends will be next year with the, the situation with the pandemic that we have going on. So hopefully the things will continue to stay steady, let's say. Uh, and the highest hope is that the pandemic uh, will be solved. Okay, so let's start with looking at the key differences. So I'll point out five key differences. So the tech salaries has increased in the major global areas for tech professionals. And the average of software engineers for the previous year in the United States is $146,000, obviously US dollars. And if we look at the global market, the average is about $130,000 for software engineers salary. And followed by the next key point is that Austin in Toronto had the highest 
salary increase for tech workers. And that is each of those cities got a 10% increase in salary for tech employees. Next uh, key point is that San Francisco is still holding that spot that it's the highest salary paid. That's a caveat there, but um, so the average of tech workers or software engineers in San Francisco area is $155,000 US and it's an increase of 7% in comparison with the previous year. And the caveat that I said there is that yes, it's the highest salary in the United States for tech workers, tech professionals. However, do those tech professionals at the end of the month when they have to pay the bills and everything have the most left in their pocket? I don't know. So that's kind of my caveat. So the next thing probably will, it's kind of sad to say that, but I, you know that I live in Seattle area and turns out that Seattle area had the most modest salary increase for software engineers, product owners, let's say that for tech professionals, and it was only a 3% increase for the salary. But <laughs> the good news is that it's still holding the third place for the bad, the most paid as tech professionals. So it's a third place after New York and San Francisco. And finally, the tech salaries in the health industry are skyrocketing. And with the salary, the average salary of $151,000 in United States and about $87,000 US dollars in UK. Next on our agenda is to look at the major markets for tech industry <laughs> companies and look at the salaries for those major cities. And we will look at the salary of, of software engineers in the United States, in Canada, and we will look at UK as well. So let's start with Seattle. So Seattle has $142,000. That's the average salary. Everything that I'm mentioning is the average salary of tech workers and that is a 3% increase in comparison with the previous year. San Francisco has $155,000 and that's a 7% increase. Followed by LA, LA has $137,000 and that's an 8% increase. Then Denver and Denver has $126,000 with a 9% increase. Austin has $137 Okay, again, it's it's thousand dollars, right? Um, and it has ten percent increase in comparison with the previous year. Then, if we look at Chicago, Chicago has one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars, with an eight percent increase in comparison with the previous year. Boston has one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars, with an eight percent increase. If we look at New York, the average salary for software engineers in New York is about $143,000 with an 8% increase. Washington DC has $131,000 with 7% increase. And if we look in uh, Canada, in this particular case, we'll look at Toronto, the software engineers in Toronto can expect around $109,000 um, in Toronto as a salary and the percentage increase with the previous year it is 10% and London is at about $87,000 average for tech professionals and that's a 9% increase. So just looking from this you can see that the highest as it was mentioned it's Austin and Toronto they had the 10% and unfortunately <laughs> the lowest is Seattle. So yeah those are kind of the numbers. Next on our agenda is to look at tech salaries based on the industry. And we will look at numbers from UK as well as United States. We will start with United States. 
And I'm sure this won't come as a surprise to you because I already mentioned that in the key points, but the healthcare industry workers can expect about $151,000 a salary as software engineers, programmers, right? Or product owners. Um, and I think there are companies such as iDoc, Unwell, many, many other health related companies. Then we see that that's followed by technology and the salary is about $149,000 and that's the average. Then entertainment and consumer mobile, they both have about $147,000 average for the salary. And I believe that's kind of Hulu, Netflix, Verizon, probably AT&T. Then um, we see education is with $146,000 average salary. E-commerce and finance, they are averaged at $145,000. And then the very last one we see media and that's about $144,000. So let's look at UK for the industry. Uh, finance and healthcare, they're at about $68,000 then entertainment marketplace tech and ecom they are at about $67,000 consulting you can expect about $66,000 uh, in salary if you are in UK and working in that industry and finally media it's about $65,000 so those are the kind of the industries <laughs> that you can expect the salaries and you can pick which one you're passionate about and see what is the expectation or what's the ben benchmark for the salary as a tech worker. So if you're a programmer, let's say, and you also have a passion for healthcare, well, now you know that the highest <laughs> pay is there. Next, let's look at how did the salaries change for tech professionals based on their role. And again, we will look at numbers in United States and United Kingdom. So for product managers, they see an average of $154,000. And in comparison with the previous year, it's an $8,000 increase in United States. Software engineers, they have an average of $146,000 and the increase there is about $7,000 increase. Data scientist, it's an average of $139,000 with an increase of $11,000. Designers have about $134,000 in salary with a 10% increase. So just looking at this, Looks like the data scientist had the highest increase, followed by designers, then product managers got next uh, increase, and kind of software engineers got the least um, increase there. I mean, I'm looking not at the percentage, I'm looking at the amount of the salary, the thousands of dollars that increased. So let's look now at UK. Product owners had an average of $74,000 as a salary per year. And the increase there, it's about $5,000 in comparison with the previous year. Software engineers averaged at, at $67,000 salary with an increase of $6,000 since last year. Data scientists, they got $62,000 average and with an increase of $1,000. And designer's salary is $57,000 and with increase of $6,000. Um, Here you can see that I'm a little bit um, confused. I'm not sure if these numbers are in dollars or the currency in the United Kingdom. So I'll probably, I believe it's it's uh, the currency in the United King Kingdom, um, but I'll clarify this. Um, probably somewhere in the <laughs> sidebar. Let's look at the final thing that we had in our agenda, and that's the adjusted cost of living based on the salary that you might get in San Francisco. So 
<laughs> in Austin, the adjusted salary might be <laughs> 2,2400k um, with the salary. Denver is $202,000. Seattle, $188,000. $188,000. Chicago, $187,000. LA, $182,000. Boston, $173,000. Washington, D.C., $158,000. Uh, San Francisco, $155,000. And New York, if we compare with this, New York is losing in this case, which they will kind of get adjusted to $141,000 hundred thousand dollars so all these numbers a lot of numbers and there's so much more useful information in the report so feel free to find it in the description i i want to make sure that i'm not getting paid or affiliated or anything like that but hired i just find this information useful and i want to share it with you so you'll be informed and know what can expect for a salary. Let's say if you are looking for a job in software engineering and you want to know what salary you can expect based on specific areas, or if you want to relocate, here are the numbers and you will be able to take an affirmative decision. And let's say if you want to relocate, <laughs> uh, you want to move somewhere, you will see that the most top three places that make sense to move according to this data, is Austin, Denver, and Seattle. Hopefully this video answered your curiosity about how much do software engineers get paid in a year or how much does a programmer, a programmer make in United States or how much does a software engineer make in Canada and also UK. So those are the things that we talked about in this video. And also what are the most highly paid industry as a tech worker and also how much or how long will your money last in in san francisco or in other cities if you were to be paid exactly the same amount so hopefully all of this information is something that will bring you value thank you for watching this video until the end if you found it useful you know what to do you have to like this video, share it with the people who might benefit from it as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, there is a red button down below the video. Click it to make sure that you're subscribed. That way you will be notified when I release new videos on related topics, topics about software engineering, lifestyle, and so much more related to software engineering. Until next time, stay healthy, stay sharp, and have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>